Hello, and welcome to Deckheads, brought to you by Shark Tank Media. I'm Frank. I'm Tim. Previously on Deckheads, we went head-to-head in Android Netrunner, an exciting living card game brought to you by Fantasy Flight Games. After our fifth game, we decided it was time to move on to the next game, which is Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures. X-Wing Miniatures is another game uh, produced by Fantasy Flight Games, and instead of focusing on deck building and drawing, we're moving on to miniatures and dice rolling. Uh, Our strategy here is going to be how to best move our ships and how to outfit them. Originally, we were going to make an introductory video teaching you how to play the game, but Fantasy Flight's official intro video was just phenomenal for this game, so we realized there was no way we could best it. We really recommend that you take the 12 and a half minutes or so to watch their video, which can be found here, uh, to familiarize yourself with the game if you don't know it already. If we encounter any rules that aren't brought up in that video, we will explain them. Yep, so since this is going to be our first game in the series, we thought we'd start it out basic. We're going to be using just the base set and the quick start rules. So that means that we are going to have an Academy Pilot uh, TIE Fighter for, and a Obsidian Squadron TIE Fighter versus a lone rookie X-Wing Pilot in the middle of empty space brought to you by Hots Mats, and there will be no upgrades, final destination. And that's H-O-T with a Z for Hots Mats. So in our last videos, uh, we would flip to see who was doing what, and we'll do that again. Now there's no good tokens to flip with, so we're going to use this uh, credit token from... Uh, Android Netrunner that we totally didn't accidentally forget to put away in the box. And so I'll flip for which faction I am. So credit side is going to be Rebel. Advancement side, that's Imperial. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, Rebels. You are Rebel. I am. Playing my home faction here. Yep. Alright, so I have my lone guy. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'll get my two shield tokens. Start placing my guys. So it's interesting that the TIE Fighters have exactly three armor and no shields each, but the Rebel Pilot has two shields and three armor. So you actually have the advantage of hit points if you're just looking at raw hit points, not at the advantage of a shield. Conversely, the um, the TIE Fighters can do more uh, more agile maneuvers. But they're also faster and. Um, and they have a higher agility, so they roll more defense dice in attack. So yeah. that's the that's the upside to the TIE Fighters. Now, the other thing to keep in mind here with these guys is that we have a perfect cascade of pilot skill. Our Obsidian TIE Fighter has a pilot skill of three. The rookie um, X-Wing pilot has two, and the Academy pilot has one. So it makes it really easy to know what the turn order is. Yes. So uh, let's go ahead, and we will determine our initial moves here. Always a... Uh, Exciting way to start things off, yeah? Indeed. Okay. Go ahead and place mine. Alright. Good to go. Slip. So, the Academy Pilot moves first, and he is a three bank to the right. Interesting. You're up. I use a three bank as well, however, I'm going to the left. You're right, and I went to the. Wait a minute. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm confusing myself. Yes, okay. And then Typh or uh, Obsidian Squadron, just straight up five. Full speed ahead as it is. Going places. Now, it is worth noting that uh, we are assuming that the edges of our map are the edges of play, and if any move by any of our ships passes that barrier, they are destroyed immediately. Yeah, so it's really nice. These uh, hot mats makes these these boards that are three foot by three foot, which is a recommended play space um, by in the, in the rulebook, so we're stuck. Yep. Oh, uh, we forgot to do actions. You're right. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to focus. He was going to do... I'll just focus on him because it doesn't matter. And he was also going to focus. Ooh. Everybody's really focused today. Yes. Lots of focusing. So, City of Escalation looks first. Are you within range? Or are you just out of range? You are just out of range. Just out of range, which means I'm just out of range at you as well. Wow, how does that work? <laughs> okay, so City Squadron can't do anything. That's the turn. Let's clean up. All right. Well, Didn't even matter that we did those. Yep. All right, cool. So next turn begins. Let's go ahead and pick out how we're going to move here. It takes me a long time to set up all my ships. I got a lot of options to wait here. It's definitely scary. All right. All right, let's look. So, first is Academy Pilot. Going four straight, huh? Four straight. Ugh. Close. 
he will focus. Alright. My boy here, taking a one bank, one speed bank to the right. Hmm. Looks like I might have some nice shots available to me. And he will also focus. Two bank to the left. Which you will be in range for me, so in that case, I'm going to. I was considering considering barrel rolling, but I think if I do, I'm still going to be in range of you. Yeah. So I'm not going to barrel roll, I will focus instead. Alright, so I shoot first. Hold well, on, that's the rebel bullet side if you could. There you go. Murder you. Yes, you that's a one. Definitely a range one. Yep. So. I will roll three attack dice because you are range one. My normally attack is my attack is normally two, but and I have two defense dice and focus. And focus turns us into a attack. All right, so that's two hits, and I have one defense, so, so I lose one shield. So one shield. Let's move that up the board. And now it's time for return fire. I'm gonna be really surprised. Oh wow, look at that! It's backwards. Just so happens to be. Yeah, you're in range, range one. one. Whoa. Now, this works out a lot better for me, because now I get four attacks, because I get one bonus for being within one, and my base three. Yes. I get three. Yeah. But I still have a focus. So, this game... Ooh. Oh, wow! So we're gonna go ahead and bop those over. Oh. <laughs> you need them squiggles! One squiggies. Uh, I'm already... still dead. He's dead. He's dead. Just like that. Just boom. Just like that. Now, here I comes think the it, boom. Here comes it is. Yeah. Of boom. Yes. Yeah. Go Hawks. <laughs> Go Hawks. <laughs> so, well, when this game airs, the Super Bowl would have already been played. <laughs> so, if the Seahawks won, Go yeah. Hawks! If they didn't, that's, I can't believe we made it that it's far. It's still a good season. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think it's just important to point out here that even as a rookie pilot, uh, back in the day, I used to play a lot of Star Wars Galaxies, and uh, I flew my own X-Wing to uh, many victories in on the server Corbantis. So, Range 2. Shout out so to my homies on Corbantis. The, the core set of this game only comes with six dice, three attack dice, three defense dice, and I think it's because they they kind of expect if, you, if you're going to be building a lot of squads and stuff that you're probably going to be buying two of the core set. I think that's what they're going with, but right now we only have one core set, and we, it's awkward in the video using only three of each dice, so yeah. we went ahead and picked up some extras, so you'll that's the only. That. That's the only addition to this set that you're seeing. Right yes. Now, is our extra dice. Hit a uh, crit. Hit a crit. Hit a crit. And you uh, use your focus. So, normal hits apply first, which means mm -hmm. I lose this, and I take my crit. Let's go ahead and... Pilot. All players must ignore your pilot ability and all of your pilot upgrades, which is okay. Which is nothing, because you're a pilot. pilot. Okay. Right. Yeah. Clean up that. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot worse. All right, so you've got one hit, so... All right. This will be, this will be interesting, Frank. It will indeed. I just need to see how you play this one. All right, ready? Ready. Oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> <laughs> so, you probably can't see, but we both did a four-speed K turn. Yep, so go ahead, uh, do yours first, because yes. that's the rulies. Oh, it looks like you won't even be able to stand where you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. So, not discussed in the initial uh, Fantasy Flight rules, if you encounter another ship, there's no like, collision rules, you just move back as far as necessary to be touching their frame. So because there's no room for me to spin, I actually don't get a spin, but I still get a stress token because we assume that it's still a red maneuver. Yep. Now, <laughs> now since Tim's base is in my way, I move as far as I can, which is nowhere, but since I was doing a red maneuver, I'm stressed. Yes, this is a very stressful situation. This is very stressful for both of us. Uh, oh, wait. No, Frank, you still move. Do I? Yeah, because it's only it's only if you would land touching um, then, me. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so, so I'm screwed. You're screwed. So I go ahead and flip around. Uh, man, if only you went first. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the pilot skill, right? Yeah. Now that's now it makes sense to me better why 
the higher pilot skills move last. Yeah, it, it, it does situations like that and also lets them see, like, you know, decide, see other ships move before they decide to barrel roll and things like that. Yep. So I'll go ahead and use the rebel side. You are only, you're not at range one. <sighs> so that's good. Right, so I'll grab my three defense dice. And I will grab my three attack dice. Ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do it. Need the squiggles. Oh, two yeah. eyes, and I couldn't focus. No. Nope. You got it. You got Boom. it. So we're good. We're All good. Right. No, no damage. Okay. Time to move again. Time to move again. Now, because we're both stressed, neither of us can do a stressful from stressful maneuver. Okay. Ready. One, yeah. two, and. Mm. All right. So I go first, and I did a, I did a two, two bank, two bank to the left. Which wait me is green. Oop, you're oh wait, I'm. Vi- oh no, I totally thought I was. Yeah. Facing the wrong way. Oh, wow. Man. So I guess that's how I lost the game. And uh, but I I lost my stress token, which means I'm going to evade. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and move. Surprise! Surprise! Speed right? one forward. It's a nice little. And because it's also a non-stressful move, I lose my stress token. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and target lock. Target lock, well, yeah. Okay, so range two, range two for sure. So you get, I get three, you get three, and I get an additional. Day. I get an additional day. Let's do it. Too bad you didn't focus. Yeah, I know. It's okay. I needed to set that target lock. Are you gonna choose and use it now, or go ahead and roll? I got two evades. Well, hey, I, I can't. Three, three evades. Yeah, I can't. So, well, yes. Yeah. Nothing I can do. Yeah, we'll have to check out the rule books because I'm not sure the order of operations for in terms of using to turn using. I would have re-rolled those anyway. It was just to see if it was even necessary. Well, that's the thing is I don't know if you're allowed to see if it's necessary before choosing uh, the I think it might be a situation where you have to. I see. I see. But like I said, we'll we'll consult the rule book uh, after this game. Where's my bill? Okay, please. Oh man, this is the worst situation to be in. Ready? Yep. One turn to the left with a evade action. Still locked on. And I will take a three forward, which is doing exactly what I wanted it to. So it's definitely one range, so you yep. get the additional attack dice. And still hold on, hold on, focus now. Oh yeah, that's right, you need to focus. Okay. So that aside. Get my four. Alright, now we're on even footing. <laughs> Let's roll. Ooh. You wanna re-roll any of those hits to try and get crits? Yes. No. Well I do get at least one. At least he does get at least one. And nada. So I'm dead. You're dead. Game over. Game over. Wow. <gasps> Could you have had better rolls? That's my <laughs> yes. question. Yes. The answer is yes. You did? Let's be clear. You did get a perfect debate earlier in the game. I did. That's true. Um, so that was nice. So definitely uh, with the base. It didn't game, even matter because you, you rolled one hit or you rolled a crit, I guess. Yeah. So you did. I could have re rolled the two focuses. It didn't matter at that point. Whatever I rolled, I couldn't beat you. That's true. Yeah. So, definitely fast moving. I took three damage. One of those was a crit, even. It yeah, just happened to be true. the one crit that doesn't matter to a rookie pilot. Yeah. So, yeah, what are the odds? But definitely Actually, close game. I think there's another one that, that affects I mean, I was only two damage away from losing. Yeah. No, that was a close game. It was a very close game. Much was a good practice. Um... <laughs> <laughs> But definitely uh, a lot that can be done with this game that I'm looking forward to, especially as we get to spot building, which we will do for our next match. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're for our next match, we're going to stick with just the core set, but we're going to allow squad building. So you'll see things like like Luke Skywalker, potentially, or, you know, Mauler Mythal, Night Beast, the, the unique named um, TIE Fighters. TIE Fighters so, yeah. so, and I'll be playing the Imps, uh, which is definitely not what I'm used to. Having flown as a rebel pilot for like two years. Yes. However long Jump to Light Speed lasted until the game. But, 
Yeah, so that was that was a lot of fun. It, I, I, he, I really he lives away. <laughs> to see that. We'll also be adding in obstacles as well. Um, so it'll be it won't just be open space. It'll, it'll there'll be a, there'll be a little more going on. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, but as you can see, if you only have a couple of minutes and it's just you and a friend, you can get this set up and done. Yeah, and it's and it, you know even with this quick start with no upgrades and everything, it's still fun. Like, sure, it's 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 quick. It's quick and dirty. You know what I mean? If you want to play the game but you don't have time to build the squads and play a longer drawn out game because you got upgrades that are you know restore shields and you got this and you got that. Um, if you just want a quick and quick and dirty game, the 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 quick the quick start setup for this game is still a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, some close calls there. He had both of his Tie Fighters coming right in for me, and I just managed to uh, outmaneuver one of them yes. by being in its way. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Man. But you know, even if you had turned yeah. around, you wouldn't have been able to take any counterfire. It just would have made the setup for the next turn a little different. Yeah. And I probably would have taken a one bank. Wouldn't have given me the focus. Yeah, but it put you directly behind me. Yeah. Which, in this game, there's... Other than K-turning, there's no way to get out of that situation. And I was stressed, so You were you couldn't K-turn out. Exactly. Yeah. And you couldn't even uh, barrel roll at that point. Nope. No. So... You can't barrel if you're stressed. Definitely, it's fun. There's a lot of options. Definitely a lot of factional flavor already. Um, I feel like uh, we've already kind of set ourselves up to be playing asymmetric games. Yeah. I bet, you know, that said, you can absolutely play Imps versus Imps and Rebels versus Rebels. Yeah, yeah I see that in tournaments. I've seen videos of tournaments and stuff, and they, and they do do that. Yeah, so. if, if you feel like you're not balanced. But so far, that was a close round. Yeah, a lot of fun. Good yeah. game, so, As always, Tim. So we'll see you next time on Deckheads. <laughs>